Over the next few minutes, we're going to talk about the simple things that we can do here to control dust, or PM10. It's important that we do our part because it's the law, but more importantly, it affects our way of life. Whether we're at work or spending time with our family and friends, together, we can make a difference. Before any work started at this site, the construction superintendents put together a dust control plan. That's part of their job. While you're doing your job on site, we'd like to remind you of a few key things to keep in mind that can really help. Some of them directly affect your work, others don't. But we're all part of a team, and we're counting on you to help all of us do the right thing. Listen, we've all been on enough job sites to know that everything we do is going to kick up dust. But what we need to do is control the amount of dust that we're stirring up. By law, dust cannot exceed 20% opacity. But what does that mean to you and me? Here's a simple guide to help. If you can see dust in the air, we're about halfway to having a problem. We need to keep the dust below the fence line, and we absolutely need to keep it on site. As you're driving around the site, remember to drive slowly and look behind you. If you can see that your vehicle is kicking up a lot of dust, slow down. It will really make a difference. That same rule applies when you're leaving the job site. Track out is a big problem, but it's easy to fix. By definition, track out is the dust or material that sticks to our vehicles and haul trucks on the job site and ends up on a paved road or parking lot that is not part of our job site. This becomes a problem when any vehicle leaves the site, so it's very important to keep the road clean of track out. Make sure you're using the main exit to the job site because as part of the dust control plan, the builder installed a gravel pad or grizzly to shake that stuff off before we get to the main road. If you're hauling loose material, make sure to water your load before you leave and use a tarp to keep the dust out of the air. And let's all do our part by keeping an eye out for track out. If you see it, take a minute and call the superintendents and let them know so that they can get it taken care of right away. Or if it's a small area, clean it up yourself. It will only take a couple of minutes and it will help keep us in compliance with the inspectors. I mentioned watering the load if you're working with haul trucks, but did you know that using water is one of the best ways to control dust? Water is a part of every dust control plan, and we need to use it. Make sure to use a mist or a shower to create a crust on the soil. That will really cut down on the dust. And here's one more thing to remember. If you need water and don't have it, stop operations and let the superintendents know that you need water. They'll get it to you. That's part of their job. Using water is also a great way to stabilize any part of the job site. We talked about using a mist or a shower to create a crust. That's our goal for the entire site, including those high traffic areas, which we all need to keep an eye on. High traffic areas need water more often than the rest of the site. The opposite of that are the inactive areas of the site. They're not going to need as much attention. Just keep an eye on all areas to monitor the crusty layer. There's one other thing to keep in mind if you're working with bulk material, you know, like loading and unloading dirt. Dump those loads as close to the ground or truck bed as you can. That will really help you avoid a situation like this. Make sure you're using water before, during, and after the operation. That will help a lot as well. I mentioned before about stopping operations until a dust problem can be taken care of. I know we all have a lot of work to do and we have to get it done as quickly as possible. But all of us are responsible for doing the right thing. And the right thing is controlling dust. So if you see a problem, let the superintendents know. They'll get it fixed and then we can all get back to work. Remember, dust and wind don't knock off at the end of the day. Controlling dust is a 24-hour-a-day, seven-day-a-week job. The dust control plan for this site is designed to do just that, control dust. But all of us need to do our part. If you'd like to do more, the county has training available. Ask your superintendent or contact the county, and they can give you all the information that you need. Air quality is everyone's business, and by doing the right thing, we can make sure that Maricopa County continues to be a great place to live and work.